Today's modern vehicle is designed to, and often does, travel at high speed, and this calls for precise handling. The driver quite rightly expects the vehicle to perform satisfactorily under all conditions, and if it doesn't, he'll seek advice. The motor mechanic needs a comprehensive understanding of suspension characteristics, and he must be able to diagnose faults quickly and accurately. This program covers the layout of modern suspensions and how they affect tyre wear. Even wear of the tyre is inevitable with use, but unusual tyre wear is an indication that a problem exists, such as incorrect tyre pressures, wheel alignment, track or toe, suspension and geometry problems, camber and caster, wheel balance problems. Section 1. So let's look at tyre pressures first. The wear pattern will show if the tyre has been in an underinflated or overinflated condition. Let's consider the underinflated condition first. This is generally seen as wear on the inner and outer shoulders of the tyre. Since overloading and underinflation could be said to produce the same effect, it's important to establish how the vehicle is normally loaded. It's true to say that if the tyre is underinflated, it has the same effect as being overloaded, and if subjected to sustained high speeds, will generate much higher temperatures than normal. This will increase tyre wear and sometimes cause the tyre to fail completely. Now let's consider overinflation. This is where the tyre is tending to run on the crown area only, wearing away the centre of the tread prematurely. If the tyre is excessively overinflated, the ride can become noticeably harder with road vibrations more easily transmitted to the passenger cell. Another consideration is the effect during braking. Due to the tyre running on the crown area only, there's a corresponding reduction in the overall contact area with the road surface. Consequently, there'll be a tendency for the brakes to lock up more readily, and this will lead to lack of control. Always use the tyre manufacturer's recommended pressures or consult the vehicle documentation to avoid these problems.